Okay, the number is two. Let's see what we can do for underlining verbs and verb phrases. Yes. Yes. Nice. Perfect. Thank you, Kazane. That is only a verb because it only contains one word, therefore it cannot qualify as a verb phrase because verb phrases must be two words. This is a verb phrase with can being my helping verb and by being my main verb. Rona, next. Well, stop. So very close. Somebody want to tell her what she missed? Yeah, Kristen. Yes. See, Rona, that's an obvious uh, um, and pretty easy mistake to make because the may is separated by an adverb, so you don't see it attached. But technically, it's may develop. And then, go ahead and have a seat. What we often do in English is we will insert adverbs between a helping verb and their main verb. So if I say, I am furiously working, am working is my verb phrase. Furiously is the adverb placed inside there. So be careful. That's also where we play, place negation. We place negation between the helping verb and the main verb. A whole town may never develop around a new shopping center. You wouldn't say may develop never. Well, you could, but it doesn't sound quite right. Or never may develop. Both of those are technically grammatically acceptable, but they're not the style that we use. We usually insert negation right between the helping verb and the main verb. So be aware of that. But in identifying on a test anywhere else, you do not underline that word because that is an adverb, not a verb or helping verb. Lastly, Colin. Thank you, Colin. Colin has been just a little bit overly exuberant in underlying a word he does not need to. Elise, do you know what that word is? Busy is correct. Do, Elise, do you know what part of speech busy is? Uh, close. Busily is the adverb. Busy is the adjective. So any of you who listed busy, that's not a verb. You don't busy something. Okay. Well, you can actually. You can busy yourself with something, but that's not how the word is being used here. It's a word used to describe what? I'm sorry? People. Uh, well, the shoppers, specifically. The shoppers. So busy is used to describe shoppers. R is the linking verb connecting the two. We'll talk about that sort of structure as well a little bit later on. But what you need to be able to do right now is just identify the verbs and the helping verbs. Uh, let's see, Connor, pick out a noun phrase. You don't have to get up. Um, most, shoppers. most shoppers, that is correct. Uh, let's see, I've got one more in there, Michael. The centers, the centers is correct. One, two, three. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. You're, you're correct. No. Um, you wish. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Sonia, find a noun phrase. A whole town is correct. Michael, your next one. The center. Very good. Um, Ron. The downtown area. Because my core noun is area, and we're describing di through downtown. Gretchen. The community. The community. And Kristen. A new, shopping center. a new shopping center. Very good. One, two, three. Uh, Nicole. A typical, a typical center. Very good. Uh, yeah, Sydney. Ah, careful, you got that of in there. Remember? Just parking spaces. Very good. So what do we have? We have noun. And then this overall is a prepositional phrase with a noun phrase inside it. Last one, Gretchen. 
No, scores is one word. Therefore, it can't qualify as a phrase. Almost anything. Very good. The next step, I believe, asks you to do verbs and verb phrases in one of your own sentences. We have just enough time for that. Two verbs or verb phrases. Can somebody pick out one? Michael. Demonstrated is correct. Who's got the next? No, not claiming. It's being used as a noun. It's by claiming. Yeah. No, you can't the performance something. Was. Just was. I want these. Turn them in on your way out. If you need to staple them together, there's a stapler available, two staplers available. Make a pile on your way out of the door. 